my channel. So today's video is a haul video. You guys, I haven't posted a haul in literally forever, and I love making haul videos, but I've been stockpiling some things to make sure that I have enough items as well as some good things to show you guys. But now I can finally make this video for you. So today's video is actually kind of ginormous. Um, I have a lot of accessories, beauty, fashion. Really, it's just a huge collective haul of random crap. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to show you is my Paul Hewitt watch. You guys, I freaking love this thing to pieces. They sent me this watch and they said that I could customize my own watch as well as bracelet to wear together and oh my gosh, you guys, literally freaking love this. So again, the company is called Paul Hewitt and they hand make their watches in Northern Germany and I can promise you the quality is impeccable, you guys. When you open up the box, I mean, I've already taken the watch out so that's why it's kind of fallen out everywhere, but it has a little fancy Paul Hewitt thing right here and of course it comes with your watch. So, I decided to choose the stainless steel strap. So you can choose between, I think there's like two or three different straps. There's like a leather one, the stainless steel one, and I wanna say there's one more. But regardless, you can customize the face itself, the color of it, the type of strap, really anything. Um, so I decided to go with a very sleek look. <laughs> Everything's fallen, y'all. I chose to go with a black strap and the rose gold coloring. And I love this, you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, they also let me choose a bracelet. And I want to say this is the Frex bracelet. And I went with the black leather strap as well as the rose gold detailing. Just so they both would match together when I'm wearing them. And they look awesome. So like I said, I chose the leather strap for the black Frex bracelet. And then the stainless steel strap for the watch. But again, you can choose different types of straps that you want. The coloring, really, it varies for whatever you want to, which I really, really like it a lot. But again, you guys, the quality of these both are incredible. And I love these two pieces. It also comes with a little bag for your bracelet, which is like, how convenient. Okay, now we're going to move on to some beauty. So Sigma also gave me some things, and your girl is loving them to pieces. So the first brush I have from Sigma is this E25 blending brush. And this is more focused for the crease. And I really, really like this because it's so specific. And I do always put a lot of colors in my creases, so this is perfect. The next thing I have is my Sigma tapered brush, and this is E, no it's not. It's F35, so I like this one a ton. I used to have a, well I still do have, a Morphe fan brush to use for highlighter, but I like this one better. It gives me more control, it's easier to use, and overall, it's just fabulous. Okay, the next thing from Sigma is my Warm Neutrals palette, and I love this to pieces. I showed this in one of my makeup tutorials. I believe this is my go-to one, not really for sure though. Anyway, these are what the colors look like. Now my personal fave on this palette are definitely the plum colors. I think it's a really, really nice coloring, especially for myself. They are so beautiful. I love these three colors mixed together. They are popping, you guys. Overall, super cute, really like this. The next thing from Sigma is, the, look at, guys, look at that. The next thing I have is a Corde Rosa. Oh, that powder. I hate myself. So this is what it looks like and it might be a little bit too dark for me. I usually like to go with more lighter pinky blushes, but nonetheless, I'll probably use this if I'm tan to have a little bit more color to myself, the elf. Maybe when I'm in Australia, I'll be able to use this more. But I really like how sleek it is. Again, I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. Like, it catches my eye so much. I can't. I just freaking love this, you guys. The last thing from Sigma is this lipstick. Now, the packaging of this feels pretty dense, which I like to be reassured. They put some extra money into the marketing of the product, which I like to know, because usually that means that the product is actually a little bit nicer and not just completely cheap. I like that. And this is in the shade Dance Till Dawn. Mm. Now, this isn't a matte lipstick. This is just like a regular AF lipstick. When I put this on, I was like, hmm, this might be a little too light for me, but it turned out to be pretty okay, especially with the lip liner. They mix very nicely together. Together. I like it, not my favorite, but it's still really pretty. Now the next thing I have to show you is an eyeshadow from Urban Decay. And this was a gift for me from Ulta when it was my birthday. And usually they give you free mascara, I think. But this time they switched it up a bit and gave me some eyeshadow. But I actually really like it. Now this is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And it's a beigey shimmery color, which is actually perfect because I always tend to use more of these beigey shimmery colors in the inner corners of my eyes. So this is an awesome color to have because it works out perfectly, especially for my makeup 
makeup routine. So this is like an actually really nice gift from Ulta. Thanks, fam. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you are some lipsticks. And the first two I'm going to show you are from Bare Minerals. And I've had these for a while, but I know so many of you have been asking me what lipsticks I always use. So I thought it'd be perfect to show you guys what I use in this video. This is the shade that I'm wearing right now. This is an Ohm. And it is more of a orangey color. But I think it's really, really pretty, especially for fall. Kind of more orangey than it is pink. And it's very different than most lipsticks that you find. And I really like that for that specific reason. I love the formula of these Bare Minerals lipsticks, you guys. They are so, so nice. These are probably my favorite, actually, uh, just because the colors are really different and they're really pretty, as well as the formula. Your lips can breathe, you guys. I don't feel like I'm, they're all crusty AF by the end of the day. I can actually move my lips without the color fading off or going away, but my lips can still breathe. So these are definitely my favorite. I highly, highly recommend them. Another one that you guys usually see me wearing is the other Bare Minerals Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade XYZ. All right. Now this one is kind of similar to this one, but it has more of a pinky undertone to it. Again, I love the formula of this. The shade's really pretty because it is a little bit different than this one, but it's still very similar, but it just has a little bit more of a pinky undertone to it. The next one I have is my Tarte Lip Paint, and this is in the shade TBT. I'm guessing Throwback Thursday. I mean, what else would it be? It's a darker, pinker matte lipstick, and I like this but I feel like it kind of fades throughout the day, which is kind of a bummer, but I mean, it's still okay. Yes, your lips can breathe, but I find that it kind of fades throughout the day and it kind of smears a little bit. So not really feeling that, but otherwise the color is really pretty. So um, I said, you know what, hashtag YOLO, and I got this darker maroon color, and this is just the Ulta brand, and it is a matte lipstick again, and I like this one, and this one was about $9. And I actually can recommend this. For $9, it does a pretty nice job. I mean, the color is pretty matte. You have to apply probably a couple coats just to make it completely opaque, but nonetheless, it still is a really, really pretty color. And it lasts fairly well throughout the day. Again, it is $9, so the formula is not the greatest. It's okay though, it's okay, we can do. I don't usually tend to wear this dark of colors on my lips, but when I'm feeling a little bold, this is definitely my go-to lipstick. Okay, so that is it for the makeup right now. Now I'm going to move on to Hakunut. Now the next products I'm going to show you are some things from Hakunut. For those of you that don't know what Hakunut is, it's basically like an all natural brand that gives you some body scrubs, some like body washes, things like that. Things for your hair as well. So the first thing from there is my Cocoa Body Scrub, and this is so, so interesting because it is natural and it is cocoa, so you smell like chocolate. Very interesting, but it is natural and I like that too. They have some tropical oils in there as well. Also, the cocoa in here is organic, which I like. Again, I like that they're using these natural products so there's not any harsh chemicals. I'm gonna read you some ingredients in here just so you know I ain't lying. So they say coconut shell powder, organic coconut sugar, organic coconut flakes, Pacific sea salt, organic virgin coconut oil, organic, okay, everything's basically organic in here, you guys. It's pretty poppin', it's pretty poppin', and you can smell like chocolate. The next thing is the Hakunet body wash, and I love this because it's actually minty, and it's like, it refreshes yourself, especially with the steamy shower, like, girl, like, I can breathe again. It's awesome, I love this, and this is 100% natural, again, I really, really like this a ton. This is always what I use when I'm in the shower. Uh, this one specifically is coconut and peppermint oil. So, ooh, girl. So the last thing from Hakunut is this hair mask. And this is coconut oil, and there's some other oils in here mixed in it. But it smells incredible. It smells so, so good. And this is what I use to keep my hair healthy. I usually mix a little bit more coconut oil into this just because I like to save this because they don't really come with a whole lot in this little pouch. So I just have an extra tub of coconut oil from Walmart and I kind of mix that into it just so I can kind of preserve this because I do have some extra ingredients in here that the plain coconut oil does not have. So I just mix them together and it makes it into one awesome hair mask. And I can honestly say that coconut oil is the best thing I can do for my hair. I noticed that the frizzing has gone down a lot because usually that's what I struggle with a lot. But this does help a ton, especially just any coconut oil. So again, highly recommend this, fam. I was showing you this upside down the entire time. Oh, idiot. All right, now I have coconut oil over my hands. Oh, girl, just put my hair. A little hair mask going on. Okay, now time for some clothes because, girl, you can't go wrong with some clothes. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is my 1975 shirt. So I just saw the 1975 in concert about two weeks ago or so, and young girl had to hit up the merch table and pick this up, and I freaking love it to pieces. This was really expensive, and I should have, I should not have bought this, but I couldn't help myself. After seeing Maddie Healy, I'm just like, oh my gosh, 
oh my gosh, I have to do this. But I love it a lot. And the shirt itself is actually quite soft. Usually band shirts tend to be really unflattering, very boxy and thick and gross. But this one is actually fairly flattering, I mean, for a t-shirt. And it is really soft, so I'm justifying the money I spent on this shirt. But you guys, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, I freaking love the 1975. You guys clearly know that, especially if you saw my Snap story. I'm so annoyed. Sorry, not sorry. So the next things I have to show you are some shoes. And these are the Vans Skate High. And I love these two pieces. But it was like my birthday and I said, like, you know what, treat yourself, girl. Like, I don't really get gifts anymore because I'm a grown adult. It's really sad, but. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. So I did, and these are awesome. I love them to pieces. They're super, super comfortable. They're just super cute little sneakers to have on hand. One thing though, the laces are absolutely ginormously long and that's kind of annoying, but I mean, you can't really avoid it, so. Whatever, like it's fine, it's fine. The next two things I have to show you are some things from Nike. These are just some Nike workout shirts. I only have two of them. But I thought, why not? Let's just throw them into the hall because this is what it is. The first thing I have is this racerback top from Nike and it's just all black and I really, really like this a ton. The next thing I have is again another Nike shirt but this time it's not a racerback. But look at this color. It's beautiful, guys. I know. It's so, so pretty. I love this. And I like that the straps are thick. It's very different. And I just couldn't say no to this. I really like this a ton. Again, it fits perfectly. The sides have some breathable material. So when you got leg day, you can sweat through this. And like, you good. Last things I have to show you are from Sansusi. I love Sansusi. They have a lot of cute things. So the first thing is this right here. And this tank top is so cash. It reminds me of Brandy a lot. So I had to pick this up. I love the stripes on it. I like the coloring that they use in the shirts and the stripes. It fits awesome actually. I am so short you guys. I'm 5'1", okay? So I have a very, very short torso. And when I'm trying to shop for spaghetti straps, usually they just tank down below my boobs and it's like ridiculous because I'm like, alright, I can't even wear this. But this one, they actually have really, really short straps which is awesome especially for short girls because this is actually a tank top that actually fits me and it isn't just scooped down so low that it looks ridiculous and it clearly doesn't fit. This fits very, very nicely, and I love that they actually have small straps so it can fit shorter girls. It's perfect, you guys. I love this. The next thing I have is this little lacy romper, and if you saw one of my selfies on my Instagram, I posted this because I wore this part of my Halloween costume because I was a little Saint Susie bunny. So uh, this was part of the costume, but it's also just a regular romper, so I can just use this as normal clothes, which... Um, now the back is really interesting because look how funky this is. You have to like pull on this to tighten it. It's not just like a simple lace up thing. It's, it's different, but it's super, super cute and your girl is loving it. Alrighty, the last thing I have to show you is this big flippin' fluffy vest. Look at that. Oh my gosh. No worries, it's vegan. You don't have to freak out, we good. But it feels really, really soft and it looks really real, which is really nice. They did a really good job on it. Again, I think this is really, really hilarious for one, just because it is so fluffy and pink and very feminine. So when I'm feeling a little extra girly, I can totally pop this on and we're good to go. I actually did an outfit of the day picture and posted this to my Instagram, so if you wanna see how I styled that, you can just check out my Insta and see what I did to rock this. Guys, you can totally use this to like, take some pop and insta pics. I mean, for real, like you can use this as a backdrop, like that's perfect. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is it. This completes the haul today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Alrighty, so if you like this video, be sure you guys give me a thumbs up and you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also comment down below and let me know which one was your fave out of the entire haul or leave suggestions because you know I always love to read them. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the future. Bye.